Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm just going to cover a way to actually save the settings on the Logitech C922 webcam. Um, if you found this video, you're probably like me and incredibly frustrated that when every time you restart your computer, everything in the settings in OBS or other programs has actually defaulted and you have to reconfigure everything from scratch. Um, Logitech have just come out with this G hub software. It's still in early access and I believe it is going to replace the Logitech gaming software. Um, however, at the moment it is available to download for everyone. I will put a link in the description. So once you've downloaded it and installed it, you will be greeted with this. So uh, that's the only Logitech device I've got plugged into the computer. So that's what's shown up here. I'll click into that. Um, yeah, so we've got, let's see if I can make it show up there. It doesn't want to because OBS is already using it, but that's fine. So we've got um, camera and video. Now, when you first hit this screen, there'll be defaults, um, video, and no filter. So you can probably see it's looking quite bad um, at the minute now. So I, I just clicked add new camera and then it made this one here, new camera mode. So I went in and it changed my settings. I've got just a little bit of zoom on, uh, turn off autofocus because I don't like autofocus. Exposure, I've turned off auto. So that value there is about minus five in OBS. And priority, I've just put on frame rate. It's giving you frame rate or exposure. I'm not I'm not entirely sure the difference. Um, I like the camera to look smooth and I've got half decent lighting. So I'll leave it on frame rate. Um, with this one, the default is no filter. I just clicked add new filter and it's made this one here new video mode. I have not found a way to actually rename these profiles yet, guys. Um, just is what it is. Hopefully, there'll be some um, changes along the way once this program actually gets released. Um, so all these values here will directly change um, Yeah, the values in OBS. It is a little bit different. They use percentages here. But each one, even though it's 55%, if I jump down to the arrow keys on the keyboard, actually have about three or four steps in each percentage, which is a bit, um, a bit ambiguous there. However, it'll just change by uh, one increment at a time in that, in that OBS value, if that's what you're used to dealing with. So you'll have to just pull it up after and make sure you've got that exactly where you want it configured in here. I've turned off the auto white balance. So yeah, saturation, that was that 55% ish was about where I used to have it in OBS. It sits at about 138, 139, I believe. Um, the only thing this is missing, which is kind of a, a big deal for a lot of people, um, the, there's no specific gain setting at the moment. Um, the gain is actually tied into the brightness, which is a bit annoying. They, they come up with the exact same value. So when um, 47% here was a about 121 brightness in OBS and about 121 gain. People with much bunch better lighting or studio lighting would definitely want to be dropping the gain a lot more than that, which they can't really drop the brightness as well. So that's a bit of an issue. But the fact that everything is saving and if if you have restarted, all you would need to change, all you need to do is drop the gain if you've got really good lighting. However, um, this is a really good step in the right direction and I'm stoked that it's saving and I don't have to uh, re-input everything every time. Alrighty, now there is no there is no save button. So just selecting these profiles seems to do it. Um, I did make sure that it was booting up with Windows. It, it seems to have defaulted to um, boot when Windows does. However, if it doesn't, if you need to manually load the program, it will still pull those settings. That is it, guys. I hope this helps someone out. And if it has, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for any future videos. Cool. Thank you very much. Bye.